What's going on guys? Welcome to UgoTech 007. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a static host for a dynamic public IP address. Now, this is very important. Um, if you watch my last video, uh, you might have noticed that the IP address keep changing. Uh, this is to protect your system. Right, okay. Now, suppose you have uh, uh, a remote access to your device, either your laptop or your Android device. Um, this works are fine until the public IP changes. Now to fix this, uh, we're going to be using the no IP as you can see here in the site. Now the no IP free dynamic DNS service takes your dynamic IP address and makes it act as though it's a static by pointing host name to it and then checking every five minutes or whatever interval that you want uh, for changes to your IP address. Now, if your IP address changes, your dynamic update client updates your host name with the current IP address. All right, so here, uh, we're gonna be clicking our account. Make sure you sign up. Um, I think sign up, signing up is free. So click on your My Account. All right, so here we have our dashboard here. All right, so um, uh, make sure I just created an account um, it, uh, using my using a random email address okay so here let's quickly check up our ip address uh, by typing i have config as you can see here all right and then um, here i'm going to connect just as we did in the last tutorial so click on uh, this uh, the vpn here all right so let me check my ip address once more all right, so you could see here we're using the point-to-point -point tunneling protocol and we have our public IP address here. Okay, now this IP address changes over time. All right, so in order to remedy this, we that is the reason for the no IP um, um, solution. So we're going to map, be mapping, we're going to create a domain, a host name here, and then we're going to map our IP address through that. So here in our DNS, dynamic DNS, we're going to click on the dynamic update client, right? So we have for the um, different platforms for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux, right? So uh, we're going to be making use of the Linux because we are in a Linux operating system, which is Kali, as in this process. All right, so there are two versions here. We have the beta version and then we have the stable version. We will be installing the stable version for this. Um, the DUC, that is the dynamic update client. So click on download. And then we're gonna uh, save this in the download um, folder directory. So let's open it up. And then we're gonna move this to our desktop. But ideally, we're supposed to take it to the USR local SRC directory. I just want to move it to my um, desktop for now. Oops, can't find it in my desktop. Where did it go? Okay, let's check the prog dump folder. All right, it's here. So let's drag it to the desktop. X out of this, let's X out of this also. So we have it here in our desktop and quickly, um, Check our IP once more. All right, we can see it there, our public IP. Okay, so let's CD into our desktop and then do it LS to list files. But before that, um, let's come in here and then just drag this here. All right, so I'm going to move that file right now because I'm going to follow the instructions that we have in here. So I'm going to move the file to the USR local SRC directory. All right, so here I'm going to um, perform the instruction. So the first one is to move it. All right, so I'm going to sudo move. I'm going to move the no IP. I just tap this. So I'm going to move the file that is the no IP DUC Linux to the USR local SRC. So just before I hit enter, just wanted to see here. So as soon as I enter my password and hit enter, you can see the file here is being moved to the directory. All right, so the next step here is to extract the file. So first, let me see the 
out of this and then go to the directory usr local src so i'm in that directory right now um, i can do an ls so i'm seeing my no ip here it's uh, gzipped so i'm going to uh, extract the file inside by typing this command here and then let's do um so the file has been extracted so let's do it ls and as you can see the folder you know ip and the, the version number so let's cd into that directory all right so and then here we're going to um, use the make command so sudo make hit enter right so and that's the um then then the next command we'll be issuing is the make install and i'll type one which is the ppp it has detected that as the point to point tunneling protocol so here we're going to enter our um email address you can use i'm using a random email address uh, a temporary email address so here i'm putting in my password and then hit enter all right, so uh, you can see here there's a little bit of an error, okay? No such file in here. Now, that's because I have not mapped, um, created a host name and then mapped the IP address to that. So um, let me take care of that real quick. So I'm going to click on the, um, the dynamic DNS and then click on no IP host names. So here I'm going to click on create host name. All right, so here you can pretty much type in anything you want and then select the domain. There are free domains you could use. So here I'm going to type in here Google. Let's say Google Update. Uh, let's just do it Google Update. And then here you could, there are free domains we can use. All right, so if you want to make it look more legit, you can use the .com. Those ones are free paid versions. So I'm going to use this hop2.org. Right, you could see my IP address in here already. That is 141. So I'm going to hit on create host name. Okay, so we have it in here. You can see success. So I'm going to create another one. You can create up to three different host names. So here, this is going to be Facebook. Let's do Facebook update. And then let's select the um my ftp.org and then click on create all right so that will be all for now all right so you can have as much as three okay for the free version okay so we're good right now so we're quickly going to go back to our terminals and then run the command once more all right so uh let me go back to the host uh, we have it here if we click on this and then i think everything we are good no dynamic update detected for this okay all right here let's run that command again um let's see it into the directory all right so the command we ran which is the make command and the make install creates a file in the usr local bin directory all right so it creates a file in that path and that file is going to be the no ip2 all right so we are going to be using the dash c flag to create a new um, process okay so here we're going to be following the instructions here further all right so i believe we are in number three Okay, so um, since we've, uh, we've run the command, we are going to navigate to that directory. So I'm going to do a cd beam, we're in the beam directory right now. And then when we do an ls, we are getting the no ip2. So we can do a no ip2 dash c to create a new process. Okay, I'll select one. I'm going to enter my um, temporary email address hit enter 
and then here we are going to type in here our password as the password you used in registering for the no IP hit enter on that and then here we're going to hit yes as we're going to update the two hosts names that we just registered and then here we're going to click on no all right as if we want to run something else say no so right now i believe we are up and running if we had uh, updated our, our ip address with the host names we won't uh, won't have to do this so let's quickly ping on the host name which we created and then this is going to be google update dot hop oh, forgotten um, let's quickly check that in our host names all right, so that is Google Update HOPTO.org. So let's copy this. And then in here, let's get rid of this and then paste it in here. Oops, there's a mistake. All right, so I'm just going to type it through. And then this is going to be Google Update HOPTO.org. Hit enter. All right, so if you're getting um, some packets like this, some data coming back, it means that it's good to go. All right, so we're quickly going to check that for the Facebook update. It's going to be Facebook update dot my FTP dot org. Hit enter. All right, so what it means is that we are able to ping our IP address. And then we have successfully mapped our IP address to the host names. Now note that if there's a change in the IP address, um, the dynamic update client is going to update the IP, the current IP address. And that way we won't, going to, we won't be losing our access or our um, um, listener, as you can call it. All right, so we can quickly do a NS lookup real quick so we can type in here ns lookup and then the uh, the host name which is the google update.hopto.org hit enter and get some more information it means that we are good so right here we can um get hold of our ip address uh, we won't get to lose any of our accesses to our remote device um, due to the change in um, the public IP address. It means that we are more secured. Okay, so um, from here on, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, let's say you want to create a, a payload, an APK file. Uh, let's quickly here run our MSF console. All right, so here... Uh, we're going to create an, an APK a payload using the MSF Vernon. And then instead of the IP address, we're going to be typing here as the host name. Uh, the L host is going to be Google Update.hoptto.org. You can pretty much use the Facebook update or whatever host names that you created here in the no IP. All right, so here uh, we hit enter. Let's go back to the port. You can put in any port number that you want. And then hit on enter. All right, so um, you've seen that the file has been generated here in our desktop. All right, so I want to quickly bring up my uh, phone. The phone I'm using for this testing. All right, so we have it here. So I'm using the screen copy. I might as well do a video on that. All right, so I'm going to start my Apache 2 service. So by typing sudo systemctl start apache 2service enter your password, and then you could basically copy your payload to the uh, local server. 
So now I'm going to, just going to CD to desktop. Right. All right, so I'm going to do a sudo move. So I'm going to move that um, evil.apk to var www.html. Oops, this, my phone has been disconnected. So let me try reconnecting. Okay, we are back. Okay, so uh, let me go back to my MSF console. And then here, I'm going to type in here, use exploit multi-handler. Hit enter on this. And then here, I'm going to set my payload. And then this is going to be Android interpreter. And I'm going to be using a reverse, a reverse underscore TCP. Hit enter on this. And then for the L host, the L host here is going to be my host name. So I'm not going to be putting the um, IP address here. Rather, I'm going to be putting the host name, which is Google Update.hoptoorg. And then here, my the L port is going to be the 4444. Hit enter. And then let's do a show option. To see everything is set. And then here on, we can start in our listener by typing exploit-jobs. All right, so this is it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and then subscribe right so make sure you hit the like button and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching